Hey guys. Told you. Got him bored, so. I figured I'd see what the cards are saying. So let's see. Oh, the first. I'm sorry. I'm being rude. For all of you who uh, are brand new, hi. My name is Rev. Nice to meet you. Uh, for my returning critters, hello. Uh, yeah, it's Friday night. It's uh, 6:45. I'm already in my jammies, kind of bored. So let's kind of let's see. We are. Uh, I'm looking at uh, my cards that um, are sort of the uh, relationship deck. We'll call it that. The relationship deck. So let's see. Divine angels and spirits. Oh, if you have any messages that you would like to deliver, I ask that you bless the Critterverse with amazing messages of whatever you feel like they need to know. Uh, divine light and love. Protect all of us, me, them, anybody watching in the future, uh, our friends and families, and uh, we ask these things in your amazing name. Thank you. Alright, let's see what's going on tonight. Tonight, tonight. <laughs> so I'll make connection coming. Oh, this is going to be a good one. Alright, soulmate connection, huh? Let's see. Alright, spirit. We got soulmates, huh? What else do we have going on here? Soulmates. There's a difference between soulmates and twin flames. We'll get into that later. Oh, but you are standing in your own way. Let's see how this goes. You gotta let go of that, uh, past energy. you got to let go of past energy. There's something that you haven't let go of yet. There's another relationship. There is, there's somebody, something that that you haven't let go of yet. Think that there's a past relationship that you just you keep holding on to and as soon as you let go of that past relationship here they come. Your soulmate. Feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling it. Feeling it. You guys know I don't do love readings, relationship readings, and stuff like that because I'm one of those weirdo people that thinks that love should happen organically. I shouldn't force it into anything. So, oh, oh, wow, woo! Let's see what's going on. Right, this is awesome. <laughs> you are taking leadership of your of your everything. Taking leadership, do it, do it, do it, because this is the end of the line. End of the line for the old crap. Why is it the end of the line? Because a dream is coming true. Boom! I will take that. I claim that one. <laughs> oh, one of you is going to be an older partner. Yeah, you're an older partner. So don't get off course. It's going to be a good one. Alright, spirits. Whoa! What else do we have going on? You guys got some stuff. Somebody's in their emotions right now. And this goes back to the uh, letting go from that past relationship. Uh, you really need to uh, to let it go. Get out of your emotions. Let it go. Because you're holding yourself back. You're holding back your blessings. You're, you're self-sabotaging yourself and you don't want that. Because this is the chance to do something amazing. You need to stop asking. We talked about this before. Stop asking who, what, when, where, how, why. Just let the universe take over. Let the universe and spirit handle it. You control what you can control. 
you let universe and spirit take care of the rest of it, okay? What you can control right now is letting go of that past person. Because a lot of you feel what you're in right now is boring and routine. Boring and routine. You don't want to be boring and routine. You don't like boring and routine. Boring and routine is something that you're just not into because you have a really loyal heart. And you want somebody that has a loyal heart back, somebody that'll reciprocate exactly what you're feeling. You know, it's, it's enough of one-sided relationships. It's enough of that. Oh, there might be a Leo or uh, you or, you know, the person that's coming in could be a Leo. So, uh, that's kind of great. Some fire, fire energy, fire on fuego. See. Whoa. You do have angel guidance, which is awesome. They got you back. Angels always have you back. But they definitely want you to know about it. Whoa. Call on your spirit guides. Get rid of your pride and arrogance. Because there's joy in spiritual growth. So align your priorities. Align your Learn self-discipline. It's time to go now. Allons-y! Let's go! Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, that one just kind of jumped out. What is this? Oh, this is the way. I have spoken. Oh, you person. They're waiting for the right time. Let them go. Let let the old people go. Let let your past go. Let it go. Just let it go. Oh, I cannot. I I can't. I can't just. <laughs> that enough. Oh. Help. There's all things. Oh, cool. Creative projects are coming in. You could be collaborating with somebody. And that turns into something awesome. That would be cool. That would be awesome. Uh, this is a message I'm thinking that uh, is this this is this is this is a message from from your past person that you need to let go of. We were better at being friends rather than lovers. Yeah. So there's no need to be heartbroken. You don't need to be heartbroken. Why? Because they pushed away a golden opportunity, and they're an idiot. So you gotta, it, you gotta make way because look, there's a destined connection coming. A destined connection. Like I said, first thing out of, you know, first card out of the gate. First card out of the gate with soulmate connection coming. First card out of the gate. Dude. Reinvented partner. Yeah. Reinvented. All oh, right. These are awesome. This is awesome. I'm I'm digging I'm digging this the most. I am digging this the most. I am loving the way that this is going right now. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna go sit for some uh, romance angels oracle cards right now and see what's happening here. Romance angels, divine angels and spirits. What? does the critters need to know about these relationships talk to me about what is coming in what is this soulmate connection that they've got coming in talk to me tell me more tell me more tell me more did he get very far tell me more tell me more like does he have a car romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring that is Oh, okay, well, you want to come out too. You deserve love. You're lovable. Yes, you are. You are a badass motherfucker is what you are. I'm telling you right now, you are a badass motherfucker. 
Okay, okay. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Woo! Woo! Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. That's right, because your soulmate's coming in. And there's going to be one hell of a spark. I mean, it is going to be like, you guys are going to run into each other, you're going to look at each other, and it's going to be like, oh. Okay. You know, it's it's like you're all kidding aside. There's that moment that you see somebody, and they might not even have to say a word, but you look at each other, and the first thought in your head is, "Oh, there you are!" Like you've been looking for them the whole time, and there they are. Hello. Flirt. Extend your light-hearted energy to others. Teach you some flirting. Alright. What else do we have? One more, and then we'll uh, call it quits for the night. Because... Hell. Oh, shit. We... <laughs> Hi. I'm telling you. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So you guys are going to be friends first, and then you're going to realize a past life relationship. You've known each other before. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. <sighs> Oh, this, yeah, this is where we're leaving off because this is the point of the whole thing. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Thank you for that confirmation, Spirit. Release your past. They're coming. Coming. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Cheers.